Everybody, welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host, Cleo, here for another toy of the day. Um, you can go to casterscorner.com for a full gallery of these figures right here. Um, you can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media, so give us a follow there. Subscribe to the podcast. New episodes coming very, very soon. We are all recorded and just picking a day to actually start, so we're excited about that. And uh, subscribe to the channel, because honestly... The more of you, just do it now. You'll forget at the end. Maybe you won't get all the way to the end, and I'll remind you again. So hit the subscribe button now. Um, the more of you subscribe, the more cool things we get to do, and then we get to share them with you. And so, um, so what do we got here? So we got Hercules and Tigra. They came about the same time. Brian, thank you for Tigra. It was a gift, so that was a nice thing. Um, <clears throat> nice little surprise, little pick-me-up. And then Hercules came a little bit later. Um... And I have to say, I think, and, and I said in the write-up in the description down below, all, all their links are down below too, by the way. Um, as I said, like, I like the fact that we have other avenues to get figures nowadays. And what I mean by that is the fact that um, Legends used to be dictated by waves. And once in a while we get a fan exclusive or an extra here or there, but... It is now a regular practice to have like single carded figures outside of waves within certain sects of the Marvel Universe. So Hercules is one example. We were kind of racking our brain like, where is he going to fit? And then to have him announced as a, you know, as a single carded retro looking figure was, was nice. Um, and then Tiger the same, like teased um, with the uh, initial digital designs and then to get her not as part of a wave is great. Um, especially with the Avengers movies, the big tentpole movies, um, they are overfilled with characters and I like the idea of getting a full wave of characters from the film that are appropriate, like with the Eternals review coming soon. Um, I just wanted to give people time to watch it before I kind of went into the review. Um, cause I could see like the Eternals being like three Eternals characters and then three, you know, comic characters and these could have been part of that. Um, but they're outside of that. So Tigra was a much needed updated figure from the uh, Nemesis wave. I believe it was a Walmart wave of Legends way back when Hasbro first took over. And she was okay. Like she wasn't bad by any means. Um, but she doesn't fit the normal standards that we have for Legends today. Uh, so she's completely pinless. So the no ugly, you know, big, huge, you know, buttons on the side of her. Um, she does come with a lot of extras, which is nice, again, for a single carded figure to have this many extras. It's nice to kind of see these kind of pack-ins. So we've got the base body and then kind of going off of that. Um, she's got the claws and snarling face. You could see some of the pictures in our gallery. I think it might be the actual um, uh, featured image. Um, she's got some fur up on her shoulders, too. So there's some furry parts. She's got claws. Her feet are furry too, which it's not as creepy as it sounds, um, gives us uh, wolves, Wolvesbane, a way to get us Wolvesbane and Feral for X-Force and X-Factor. So excited to kind of see that, the claws, the feet, the arms, I, I, they give us options to get those characters. So undoubtedly those are coming based on this. Um, she does have a tail, which is removable. Um, and it's posable, so you can kind of put it wherever you, however you want to pose her out in her action poses. The snarling kind of angry face there with the hair just kind of all over the place is cool. Um, she comes with an alternate head as well um, that's a little more composed, um, a little more model-like from her, I think her Avengers West Coast days. Um, I will say this, I, I know it's Tigra, I know it's meant to be Tigra, I get it. Um, this, this head right here and the haircut and the hair definitely gives us very, very strong Starfire, um, from DC Comics, from the Titans, uh, vibes there, but it's not, um, but I'm sure it would look better on a DC Classics figure than, than, than what they put to, put, put, they made for us back then. Uh, bright green eyes, really, really nice figure. Everything's painted on, all the the bathing suits, um, or, or the bottoms are, I'm trying to see if they're, no, those are paint. Um, so, you know, it's a really good base body for them to use for other characters. 
Um, and then she's got her fists as well. Um, so fists or claws. Hercules, much more classic looking um, than the first one. Much more old school Hercules with big belt and the and the gear on top. The the big smiling face for that uh, or the. I don't know if I'd call that. I don't think that's a smile. Yeah, this is more like the fighting face on him. Um, and you get the fists as well. Very, very Greek Roman looking for Hercules here. Um, he comes with another bunch of accessories just like she does. Um, so you get alternate hands so that you can have him fighting um, or going head to toe with some weaponry. Um, you've got his his uh i don't know what this weapon's called um but the big thing that he can bonk people in the head with it's really nice i like the detailing on it sculpting is really good and then you get the alternate cheesy smiling head um to add to it and as dwight has pointed out many times on various live streams and talking about this figure they put on the chest hair and the arm hair so he is accurately hairy for the comic book from the comic book look and I mean he's just fun to pose out he's on a much bigger body um, so he's much you know taller than her and taller than the average figure which is nice um, you can see him next to my cap here so he is you know much bigger you can kind of look down at cap there so I mean there, you know there's a lot going on here I, I just love the classic look at him and he got shares I think that I think if I'm correct the last Comic-Con we went to, he was teased, uh, but then just the digital renders for him. And then later he was, you know, revealed to be coming out. So very exciting to kind of see him finally um, in package and, and, and getting a good look at him. Um, I think he was, maybe he wasn't Comic-Con, maybe he was one of the live streams. Uh, but they did that big turnaround reveal for him. So I, I it's just really impressive. Uh, really easy to pose. Um, Pinless knees, um, still got pins on the arms, but double arm, double uh, elbow. So overall, I think these are really two good retro offerings. Um, these are specialty, so you're not going to find them in a Target or Walmart. Um, go to your local shops, ask them to order them. Um, Mike's Toys and stuff have, I think he got these in. Um, so you can check him out. Um, and there you go. So hit the subscribe button down below. Check out a full gallery of these up on the website. Um, casterscorner.com follow us we are at casters corner all our links are down below along with our way to get to our podcast new episodes coming very very soon um, and uh, as we say every night Jaxie we love you and we miss you and we wish you were here and uh, for all of you, you out there coming back tomorrow we got more toys to talk about on tomorrow night's toy of the day here on casterscorner.com have a good night everybody